right, fellow collectors, I'm Anthony with Anthony's Comic Book Art. And yeah, I named it after myself. I'm that vain. Okay. <laughs> so speaking of vanity, we are doing a vanity project every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. on Comic Art Fans, where Bill Cox is presenting the dueling dealers of comic art. Myself against Mike Ramina Man Berkey. So I outdueled him last night. Uh, did a little more business. He probably did some business after the show. I did some business after the show. I'm still trying to get paid on some deals. Hint, hint, customers. All right, so uh, these are some of the things I moved. I moved the uh, Spider-Man Morbius uh, cell. And uh, these are these are mark prices, but I did, I did deals on them. You gotta tune in, get the deals. You know, this is like, streaming stuff like this is like uh, the substitute for a live show. You know, I, I miss the action of live shows. So this is the substitute for the live shows. And uh, you know, I'm looking to do business. I'm looking to maximize my time. I'm looking to make my time worthwhile, you know, on air. It's like, that's the kind of thing that uh, I try to do at shows when I'm spending, you know, 20 grand to set up at New York Comic Con or San Diego, you know, well, I got to do business. So uh, this, the, the Peterson mouse guard, I did a deal on, uh, and I knew somebody would uh, jump on this because it just doesn't present well online. They just didn't see how big it was and how nice it was. And when you hold this up and you see how big it is, you know, uh, it's just a great piece and uh, somebody, you know, jumped on that. And then I'm doing a deal on this and the big Darth Vader, my friend and mainframe founder, JD uh, of the Golden Guys that I uh, appear on about once a month, talk about comics. Hey, talking about comics, we'll talk about comics a little later. But right now, let's talk about some pockety moon. All right, so my uh, department head of pockety moon of Connolly is here. Hey, gang. And uh, so these are ones that we have available. These are 600. What are these? Black uh, the black dragon? What? No, these are Champions Pass. These are the uh, shiny rare, um, secret rare Charizards. So whenever you see the ones with like little stars on them, they're uh, what they call shinies. They're shiny rares. That's the is that a shiny rare? Set. That is the, no, that's the secret rare Charizard. Oh. Champions Pass set. All right. We, we had, we had five of these, but we had two tens and three nine fives. We have one left. We have the same with this. We only have two nine fives left. And these are up at 600 each. So 600, 600, 600. Yeah. Let's go. 99. Okay. So here's some more affordable ones. Uh, what are these? These are from the, um, these are the Black Star promos. These are actually very undervalued right now. And if you guys want an investment tip, buy these. <laughs> um, these only came in a box set. The box sets are about $140 for the box set. So Here's another one. Okay. These tend to go up. These tend to go up in value. A lot of the promos right now are super, super hot and are going up on a daily, when I say daily basis, I mean daily basis. Now that's a that's a play card. That's, that's a card that you play? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a different version. Oh, yeah, it's know, different kind of... Uh, they, don't, they didn't, haven't done a ton of the gold cards like that. They do it usually make the box sets, things like that. Okay, so we got a Charmander. We that's got a, that's a four hundred dollar version. This is a first edition. This is this is like V set. So that's the first edition base set Charmander. That's a BGS eight point five. Again, these are this is kind of undervalued for what it is. About four hundred bucks. So and a Charizard. Card. Yeah, this is the evolutions. Mind you, the boxes of this went from five hundred to about twelve hundred dollars a box overnight in the past week. So they went through the roof. Yeah. This is another first edition quarry gun. All right. So then we got a package uh, from uh, from Beckett. This is the last, uh, the most recent package we got in. Here we got a two hundred and fifty dollar Plains Arcanine and a four hundred dollar. Yeah, that's a vivid voltage pre-release Charizard. That's a DGS nine five. Again, super undervalued right now. Um, has a lot of room for growth. All right, so here's another like two hundred and fifty dollar. Yeah, that's uh, that's the um, Darkness of Blaze V Max Charizard. Again, that's cheap right now. It's not going to be cheap very long. And a two hundred dollar version of that one. Yep, that's from um, one of the gym sets. 
And that's the uh, little fox that comes out at night? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Brock's night, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, another... Oh, that's cool. That's uh, I like that art. Yeah, it's the Mega Charizard. That was the chase card when Evolutions came out, and it reverted to the original Mecha? One. Mega? Mega? Mega Charizard, yep. The robot one, like in Godzilla? No, no, mega. No, we're just bigger. <laughs> they call these Gigantamax. All right, here's now we're getting into some price points. Dark. Yeah. Dragonite. Dark Dragonite. Wow, an eight zero, and it's six dollars, six hundred. Yeah. Now, if that was a, if that was a nine five, that would be like forty five hundred. What happened? It's the way they grade. <laughs> All right. It's a first edition. And then we got a couple of uh, five hundred dollar versions so of the nine. Card, oh no, two seventy five. This card right now is very, very undervalued as well. Like I try to focus on these undervalued cards to give you guys some value as far as potential upside. Um, Just like I try to do with yeah. artwork and you know, well, like it all falls in place as far as our business model. It's yeah. Evolved down, evolved down to Pokemon. So we'll We're not here to like squeeze every last dollar out of every transaction. We believe in volume of transactions that will build the business. So these two guys. Yeah, those two guys. So here's a first edition of Sabrina's Gengar. I got a nine of the crossover. We did a crossover grade for that. Mm -hmm. um, that's on auction format right now. And that there was a 10 five. something, wasn't there? Is that it? Yes. And here, again, talk about expensive okay. promos. This is the BGS 10 on this, and it probably should have gotten a black label 10. Now, if that was a black label 10, we'd be talking about five, 6,000. What would happened? Been, they don't give out 10. Okay, so a black label would have been, oh, uh, it's got 195 on centering. It looks like perfectly centered. <laughs> Come on, guys. How do you, what? Yeah, yeah, it just makes no sense sometimes. But. How do you measure that? Like with a micronometer? Well, yeah, they have Look at that. Form for the card size that they measure up, and they have the measurements that it has to fit. So, if anymore. we got one more nine five on that, that'd be worth what? Ugh. Can we? Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, so that's a Pokemon update. All right, that's it. Now, what we got going on Sunday? Sunday, Sunday is uh, we've also gotten back about. Mm, what four boxes of CGCs? So we have about a hundred CGCs on auction format on the eBay store. So, and when we get more quality stuff in, we'll be doing some claim sales. But this is a really nice copy. Any 12 cent book that you can get a 9.6 uh, in that range is just like crazy. So we have this uh, at uh, uh, you know six seven hundred dollars. Uh, this is a really cool, hot Star Wars book. Uh, we have, yep, yeah, Boba Fett being the hottest character. Hey, how about giving it to Disney Plus? And uh, you know, it's like, what has gone on? What are the highlights uh, in pop culture and comics of the lockdown era? You know, of the COVID era. Mando, the Mandalorian. And Wanda, I mean, those are the only two things anybody's gotten excited about, right? What else came out? Oh, Wonder Woman, ugh. She's so hot. <laughs> but that movie's not. Okay, so we got Spider-Man. Now, I thought that uh, his girlfriend in the last movie would make a great black cat, you know? Uh, Michael Keaton, the Vulture's daughter, daughter yeah. and she was just in something else. She's a good young actress, um, and uh, you know, in the interest of diversity and uh, making things, uh, uh, updating things, she she was uh, she was biracial in the in that in that film, and uh, I just thought she would make a great black cat. And uh, so we got in a bunch of these. We actually. I mean, these are really, these are uh, oversized maximum carnages. They're, they're, what were they? They were like 50 pages when they came out, so right? Yeah. It was like a oversized issue. So they're really not easy to press and stuff like that. And we got like 10 nine eights for you. And we have sets, the whole set of maximum carnage. Where were there 12 in the set? Uh, yeah. 
in the storyline. We have sets available online as well. We got these first Angelas. We got that uh, we're sick with nine sixes. Uh, we submitted a bunch of those. And we got a couple really cool uh, Deadpools that, uh, you know, disappointing for me, but good for you guys as far as price points. Ugh. Oh my God. You know, under 300. What do you want to do? You want to buy that one? Okay, you'll take that one. All right, so I made a sale. We're doing live streaming and we're doing sales here on Anthony's comic book art live stream. Now, uh, these will be ending. Now, you can't get this until it ends on auction format. Yeah, I'm taking it back. Uh, I won't be taking it. No, I didn't make a sale. So they're still, they're all on auction format, ending Sunday night. We like to end all the CGCs that we get in for the week on Sunday night. And then we're going to be working on this, the Fisherman collection. We have just boxes of sub books that we're working on. And we're going to get all those pressed and into CGC as soon as possible. And and flowing to you and your collections. We like to do the flow. We're very flowy. We're very flowy, okay? All right, be flowy and be here and stay in touch with Anthony's Comic Book Art. Are we doing a live stream for art on Wednesdays? We're doing our daily updates. Uh, Connolly's like showing you some comics and uh, we've been doing uh, a lot of put-ups from the Fisherman Collection where a lot of value's gone up. Uh, we're getting uh, I don't know, tens of thousands of dollars of that collection up. And uh, again, flowing to your collection. So I'm Anthony with Anthony's Comic Book Art. This is my associate, Anthony Connolly. And he uh, likes Pokemon way too much for his age. But we will be developing this Pokemon category and uh, getting this stuff all flowing into your collections. And we appreciate the business, we really do. So keep calm and keep collecting and we'll see you tomorrow.